Hello there, so in friends. It's Folaye and you're welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial will be on how to draft a sleeve pattern. I already ruled my starting line. First, I will insert my cap's height. Cap's height of a sleeve is from the shoulder tip to the underarm line. And you make use of this formula to get that to get your cap's height you make use of this formula your bust circumference measurement divided by 12 plus half inch half inch is also 0 0.5 inch so my bust circumference measurement is 37 37 divided by 12 plus half inch is approximately 3.6 inches so I will insert that here as my cap's height. And roll it into a straight line. Now I will go back to the basic bodies pattern I drafted and measure from the shoulder slope to the chest line. You can check out my video on how to draft a basic bodies pattern. I folded the half inch seam allowance to join both the front and back body shoulders together. So I'll measure what I have here from the shoulder slope to the chest line. I have seven inches. Now, when I inserted quarter of my bust measurements on these bodies, on this pattern, I did not add any ease allowance. Had it been I added ease allowance of maybe quarter of an inch or half inch, I will add it to what I have from my shoulders loop to the chest line. But I made use of my exact quarter of my bust circumference measurements. So I have seven inches, which I will insert on the underarm line, and I will add quarter of an inch is allowance. So I have here seven and quarter inches, and connect to the shoulder tip, making use of my ruler. Now. I will get the midpoint of this line. Here, I have eight and seven eighths of an inch. So half of that is what I have here. You can also check out my video on how to read the tape measure i have a detailed video on that you can check it out then at this point at the midpoint you go up by half inch can you see and take your ruler and connect to this point with a straight line then take your hand pulled cuff which is also an essential tool in drafting a perfect sleeve pattern. Then you connect from the half inch you came up by to the shoulder tip. Now, this is for the back arm hole. Now, for the front armhole, you also take your armhole cuff and connect from this point, from the initial line, before you went up by half inch to the shoulder tip. Making use of your armhole cuff. Just watch and connect like so. Then, you turn it over and 
also connect in this manner. Why we are doing this is because the front armhole curves in deeper than the back armhole. You can also check out my video on how to draft a perfect armhole. So this is the back armhole, while this is the front armhole. Now going over to the length of my sleeve, I'm drafting a sleeve length of a short sleeve length of eight inches. Eight inches. I will also insert it here to get a straight line. Eight inches and connect with my ruler. Now at this point I will insert half of my round sleeve which is 12 inches half of that is 6 inches and I will add 1 inch side seam allowance at this point too I will add 1 inch side seam allowance and connect Now, at this point, you can add your allowance to fold in your sleeve. You can add it at this point. Here, I'll be adding one and a half inches to fold it in at the hem. Then I will cut out. Now, when you are cutting out your pattern, make sure you cut out the back sleeve, the back armhole first. Cut out the back armhole first before the front armhole. And this part, let me cut it to I will fold the allow us to fold it in i will fold it inward in this manner because i don't want the allowance to be shorter when i'm folding it in you will understand what i'm trying to do now then i'll cut this part off don't forget to cut out the back sleeve the back armhole first. Now, this is what I'm trying to do here by folding in the allowance here. Because if I cut it like this, in this manner, like straight like this, this part will be shorter than the sleeve when you want to fold it in. But at this point now, it will align with the sleeve. The allowance to fold it in will align with the sleeve. So going back to the pattern, you can give this part a notch so you will know where to fold it in, the folding allowance that you added. And also the shoulder tip, give it a notch. Now for the front arm hole, you will open your sleeve in this manner and cut out the front armhole and note when you are cutting out the front armhole your sleeves the right side should be facing each other you know when you are cutting out your sleeve you have two of these for both and so your the right side of your fabric should face each other when you are cutting out the front armhole so, we cut it like so. So, this is the front ham hole. This part will be joined to the front ham hole, while this part will be joined to the back ham hole. Can you see?
so this is how to draft a sleeve pattern a short sleeve pattern can you see so thank you guys for joining me if this tutorial has been helpful don't forget to give me a giant thumbs up yes it will be appreciated and if you are yet to subscribe to this channel click the red subscribe button down below and subscribe right now and also turn on the post notification bell so you get notified each time i upload a new video thank you guys i will see you in my next video bye